Celebrating Women's History on Wish TV. Brought to you by LCS Heating and Cooling, McDonald's, and Lennar Homes. Well, throughout the month of March, we'll be celebrating women making history. Today, we start at the top. Indiana's first chief equity inclusion. An opportunity officer has take, officially taken her place in the governor's cabinet. Governor Eric Holcomb announced plans to create the position back in August. Not only is this position a first for the state, a woman is leading the charge. News 8's multicultural reporter Katira Winfrey joins us with the story. Katira. Well, Brooke and Phil, when the governor spoke about this position, he said the world was also dealing with the virus of racism. The protests last summer helped move this along, but the governor says it's been a long time coming to get the House or the state of Indiana in order. Indiana is working to improve equity, inclusion, and opportunity. And Kara Herring represents the first steps in a long process to meet that goal. I am not under any type of, of um, illusion, dis disillusionment that this will be a walk in the park. There will be uncomfortable conversa conversations. There will be challenging conversations. And there will be disagreements around the topics that we encounter. She's the newest member of Governor Eric Holcomb's cabinet, the first ever chief equity, inclusion, and opportunity officer. We didn't know who it would be when the governor said this months ago. As well as drive systemic change to remove hurdles in the government workplace and the services we provide. And second, help them deliver their own strategic plans to tactically remove all such barriers. The plan was to hire someone. Herring just happens to be a woman, but she says George Floyd's death, her background in equity work, but also her role as a woman, mother, and black woman pushed her to apply. What does it mean to you to be a part of this? It really tugged at my heartstrings when he started to talk about the importance of looking at the root causes of, of disparities within our state, not just reacting to the symptoms. She says as a state, the numbers show disparities still exist in areas of policing, education, and more. She says the data supports it, but so does the history of how certain systems have been set up and the impact on minority communities. We have to acknowledge that, and we have to say, what can we do as a state to move forward. Seeing the data shift is going to be a major step in seeing some type of transformation. This is definitely a marathon and not a sprint. But the second thing I think will be very telling is the willingness of individuals to sit down across lines of difference to come together to make a difference. And Hearing says right now the plan is to develop a series of short term and long term sustainable goals. But in addition to that, she's asking Hoosiers to come to the conversations with an open mind. Reporting in the studio, Katira Winfrey, Wish TV, WishTV.com, and follow us on Facebook.